Hi everyone, my project team is Good Health and Wellbeing. Infectious disease affect billions of people around the world. Here are the five most common disease, which is hepatitis B, malaria, hepatitis C, dengue, and DB. Here is a graph that shows the prevalence of diagnosed infectious disease in selected countries of 2019. And here is the top 10 causes of death in lower middle income countries in 2016. As you can see, TB is one of is also contribute to a high death rate. Actually, there are four ways to transmit infectious disease, such as through airborne, waterborne, contact, and vectors. And here are the examples of infectious disease which is caused by airborne, waterborne, through contact, and through vectors. From the data that I have shown earlier, I have selected tuberculosis prevention awareness as my project title. My ultimate goal is to create public awareness of what is TB, how to prevent TB as a sustainable development goal. What is tuberculosis? Tuberculosis is a contagious disease caused by a type of bacteria. Here is the key facts of TB. In 2019, a total of 1.4 million people died from TB. In the same year, around 10 million people fell ill with TB. Most of them are men, followed by women and children. Eight countries account for two-thirds of the total cases, with India leading the count, followed by Indonesia, China, the Philippines, Pakistan, Nigeria, Bangladesh, and South Africa. TB incidence is falling, but it's still less than the target set. Ending the TB epidemic by 2030 is among the health targets of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. And here are the cases per 100,000 population. As you can see, African and Southeast Asia are the part of the world that has the highest rate of incidence cases. And I'm going to show you how tuberculosis is in Malaysia. The new cases for 100,000 people in Malaysia was increasing then decreased on the year of 2018. Good news is the number of deaths from TB in Malaysia was in the downward trend. Tuberculosis has affected many parts of the body. There are actually two categories of TB, which is latent TB and active TB. The risk of developing active TB is higher in anyone with a weakened immune system, anyone who first developed the infection in the past two to five years, or adult, older adults and young children. TB is spread by airborne transmission. Infected persons release droplet nuclei when they are talking, coughing, sneezing, laughing, or singing. A person who feels ill with TB will have these symptoms. Nowadays, the treatment for TB is very effective. The TB patients can be cured with drug treatment, DOTS, and BCG. The number of tuberculosis is projected to increase in the future. The main reasons are the increase in population and the increase of foreign workers in the country. And here, is the, and here are the preventive measures that can be taken for TB in our own country. TB start from school, we must also cultivate healthy lifestyle in community. Last but not least, the government should organize public awareness programs on World TB Day on 24 March. <laughs>